Um, why are you asking me about this girl? I don't know her. Well, I'm just a little old friend of hers. Junior growled. He still re remembered that the door was closed, but people can hear him. He toned down on the tone of his voice. You're Fang, aren't you? Rexy told me about you, you little... How did you know who I am? It was said, she told me about you. Well, I've come to ask you to stay away from her. Oh yeah? What's a puny Spinosaurus gonna, like you are gonna do to a hundred foot tall giant dinosaur that can basically breathe an atomic breath? Fang had no idea what he was doing. He knew that facing Junior was more like a death wish. Oh, please. You and her won't make any sense. You're just a giant radioactive dinosaur. Just a giant radioactive monster. Oh yeah? And you're just a Spinosaurus. Plus... You're not even related to her. Like, you're not even in the same species as her. Or... Like, in the same... Family. Like, if you were a Tarposaurus or a Displetosaurus, I guess it would kind of work. Because, like, they related to a T-Rex and... Yeah. But a Spinosaurus and a T-Rex, like... Like, dating, that's just... That's just weird. Like, seriously, dude, you're a Spinosaurus. Go date your own kind. Seriously? And waste my... And waste a perfect opportunity with a T-Rex? Please. Don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. Because I can easily choke you and snap your neck right here, right now, buddy. This is your last warning. Stay away from her, or things are going to get pretty ugly between you and me. How about you stay away from her, or else things are really going to get ugly. Hmm. Let's see about that. Junior heard a knock at the door. He opened it up and saw Rexy. Rexy! Hey, Junior. I was wondering if you want to. Rexy, his heart almost froze. What's he doing here? Long story. Rexy came in and Junior immediately closed the door and locked it. Fang, what are you doing here? Ah, Rexy, there you are. It's been years since last time I saw you. Come on, let's just head back where we left off. Uh, no, I didn't recall dating you. Plus, I'm a junior here now. You killed all of those scientists, including one of them who was more like my father. Come on, they were torturing us. They deserved it. No, they were only helping us. Some of them, yes, were torturing us. But, but the others were trying to help us. Well, I'm going to give you one last chance. You can be with me, and I can do whatever you want. 
or things are going to get ugly between us. Come on, there's two of us and there's only one of you. So, I guess that's a no then. Now. Alright then. But Fang, he tried to attack Rexy. Junior grabbed him by the throat and slammed him on the ground. And ended up punching him on the side so hard that, that he ended up breaking a few of Fane's ribs. Fane started walking back in pain. You heard the woman. Leave. Now. Or things are going to get really ugly. Alright, fine. You win this battle. But next time... I want to look out for me, Rexy. Because who knows? I could be hiding around any corner. Fang disappeared. Junior. We <laughs> expected a bit more of a fight. <sighs> Sorry, Rexy. No, it's fine. At first, I thought it was a person who was going to ask for help, but until I heard him mentioning about your hair and your scars. Yeah, that's when I got onto the offensive side. I can tell. Anyways, Rexy, you were about to ask me something before, you know, the whole thing. Oh, yeah, I was wondering if, since tomorrow we have a day off of training, I was wondering if you wanted to go out on a date. Oh, yeah, sure. Let me just unlock the door real quick so that we can get out. Yeah, I also gotta talk to the hotel owner so that way. He... Yeah, so that way he doesn't freak out about and asking what was going on. Good point. Anyways, um, see you tomorrow, Rexy. See ya. Rexy kissed Junior on, on the cheek. He blushed again, and then he did it back. You know, Rexy blushed immediately. After Rexy left, Junior closed the door. He then laid back down. He was hoping that Fang was going to keep his distance. Meanwhile, back with Fang, he was actually outside of the walls. He was walking around until he heard someone. Whoever, who's there? Wherever you are, show yourself. Relax. I'm a friend. You want revenge on Rexy, right? Well, not really, but sure. I can give you that to you. First, I need you to swear that you'll do anything I want. Who are you? The person came out of the fort. Came out from behind the master tree. My name is Zeke Yeager. But I'm not the person that you should really ask you all the questions for. Zeke's right hand turned to King Doris's head. The middle head, to be precise. What... What are you? I am King Ghidorah. And you... are going to be my servant. Well, what do you want from me? I want you to join me in my quest to regain my full power. And of course, so I can come back from the dead. Wait, aren't you technically alive, like right now? This doesn't count. I'm merely taking over someone's body so that way I can live. Again. 
this time I'm keeping a low profile. Got any more specific questions? Wait a minute. You're the King Ghidorah? The Destroyer of Worlds? That King Ghidorah? Yep. I'm that King Ghidorah. Oh my god, I'm actually a huge fan of your work. Can you saw, sign my autograph? Sure. King Ghidorah had no problem signing Fane's autograph. I am just a huge fan of your work. I... I... I'm just amazed. Oh, I actually found one of your rivals, and don't worry, I already met him. Oh, you did? Yeah, I used to have a different host. But unfortunately, the damn moth helped them out. So therefore, I can no longer go back to that body. Wait. Are you acting like Venom? Just switching to a different bodies? So you can keep yourself alive? Huh? Not really, because... Here's the thing. Venom... That means oxygen to keep himself alive. Well, it needs to be in a, like a creature's body so he can breathe in our atmosphere. I, on the other hand, I can just breathe in this atmosphere just fine. Plus, Venom is still, Venom is still alive. I, on the other hand, I'm dead. So therefore, I'm just trying to find a way so I can come back. I'm fine trying to find a way so I can come back from the dead. And I kind of can't just take over someone else's body and just kind of change it to make it look like my well, kind of ch well, make it sort of a bit more of a habitable place for me to stay. Basically turning some parts of my body to their body to make it look like my body. That's kind of understandable, I guess. So, Fang, you want to get revenge on Rexy or Godzilla? Yeah, I want to get revenge on both of them. What if I told you that you can get your revenge? Really? Yeah. Pledge your allegiance to me, and I can assure you, you can get your revenge. Okay, you got a deal, King Ghidorah. I mean, Lord King Ghidorah. Now that's more like it. Now, I have a mission for you. A mission? What type of mission? I need you to go find my army. They're scattered all over the place. Find them and bring them to me. Okay, you got a deal. Lord King Ghidorah. Now that's more like it. Oh, by the way, you might want to use this. What is this? It's a, it's a teleporting machine. Or a teleporting device. I made it myself. All you gotta do is just point in a certain direction, and boom, this air. This little device can take you places far quicker than just swimming or walking. So use this and you can jump from one place to another and tell my army to come back to their true master. As you wish, Lord King Ghidorah. As you wish. Now that's more like it.